the goodest boy in the solar system has once again wandered away in Destiny 2. As part of a semi-secret series of quests assigned to you by Ada-1, your task is to find the exo-robot dog named Archie as he wanders away from his normal resting spot in the tower to explore various places on Earth and beyond. At this rate, he might make it inside the Traveller before we do in the final shape. This week, the little rapscallion has found his way to the European Dead Zone on Earth. Here's how to find him. To start this quest, visit Archie's blanket in the tower right outside Ada 1's room in the Annex. Look for the glowing neon paw prints and investigate. This will trigger a quest marker for Ada 1 that sends you to the EDZ once you speak with her. Your first stop is a visit to the local EDZ vendor, Devrim K. The sniper is holed up in a dilapidated church in the Trostlands area, very close to where you spawn in. What's the word? Devrim says that Archie ran away, claiming to have seen a bird made of light. According to the now updated side quest, Archie heard about some feathers behind a fireplace and is hoping to find the glowing bird. The aforementioned fireplace is actually very close. Turn around and drop down from Devrim to the ground floor of the church. Turn right through the huge hole in the side wall to head forward and a little to the right. You're looking for the second story of a building that says ABS Kastner. Archie's paw prints are on the second floor. After investigating those, we are told that Archie heard Guardians have picked up a chill new hobby called fishing and went to check it out. Since this clue mentions fishing, that means Archie has to be at the EDZ's fishing pond, which is located in the outskirts just southwest of the Trostlands. Archie's paw prints aren't near the actual fishing spot, however. If you follow the coastline west, you'll eventually find them. It does seem like this set of paw prints occurs in a few different spots along this beach. You should be able to find them somewhere along the shoreline if all else fails. Now we are informed that Archie heard about a ship full of tanks and space rhinos and decided to go take a look. Everybody likes calling Cabal space rhinos and the Cabal sure love tanks. Fast travel to the sunken isles spawn point to the far north and a little west of the fishing spot. You want to go toward the Cabal ship directly in front of where you spawn, which you'll probably recognize as part of the arms dealer strike. Archie's prints should be right at the start of the ramp leading into the ship. We're getting close now, as this next place should be Archie's last stop. He heard some guardians talking about the place where we reclaimed the light and some cool floating rocks there. This hint refers to the Red War, the opening campaign of Destiny 2. After Gaul stole the Traveler's Light, Guardians wandered into the EDZ and reclaim a sliver of the Traveler's Light to get back their powers. Fast travel to the Sludge and proceed straight ahead before turning right at the Fork. Continue over the short waterfall and proceed deeper into the cave. Shortly after you enter the Dark Forest, you'll see a jammer pointed at some floating rocks. Stand near the base and disable the jammer to reveal a taken portal leading deeper into the forest. In this next area, a contingent of Cabal will be facing off against the Taken. Wipe them all out and disable two more jammers to reveal another portal. Keep moving forward and disable three more jammers to reveal another portal that leads to the boss battle, where you'll also find an imprisoned Archie. The boss here is a moderately powerful Cabal Centurion, who becomes invulnerable after you deal a chunk of damage. To break his shields, you'll have to disable three more jammers in the arena. Esteemed Scions protect the jammers on either side of the arena, and they have a lot of health but aren't too much trouble. Once the Centurion's shields are down, you can finish him off. After a certain period of time has passed though, another wave of yellow bar enemies will spawn in, so try not to get surrounded if this happens. Archie's prison dissolves when the Centurion is eliminated, and you're free to offer positive reinforcement. Now all that's left to do is return to Ada 1 in the tower. You'll get 10 trophies of bravery for your troubles, equating to one free brave arsenal weapon from the Hall of Champions. Ada will give you Devrim's favourite mug, which Archie stole from Devrim earlier, and you'll also have unlocked the Where in the EDZ is Archie Triumph. For more help in Destiny 2, be sure to check out our written guide covering the new Pantheon activity or our Root of Nightmares raid guide. For all other things gaming, Stick with IGN.